Hey Libra Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. I hope y'all are doing amazing. Let's go ahead and get your reading done for the week of February the 12th. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Flip the words if you need to. Could be past, present, or future energy or someone else around you. I am picking up on. Here, show me what I need to see here. We have take the lead, the moon's wisdom. Take the lead. Okay. Get some cards and see why you have that. So spirit is calling you to be a leader this week. Take the lead on something. Make the first move. What is this about? Or maybe you're waiting for someone else to do it. That's Leo energy. Self-worth. Okay. What else? Workaholic. Okay, you could be on the Virgo Libra Plus. We have balance. Libra, that's your energy. Hmm. I feel like this is something about your workplace, y'all. If I'm being completely honest, we have destiny at the bottom of the deck. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus energy. There could be some kind of promotion and some other people are not very happy about it, okay? Some of you have been busting your tail to get this promotion. You see this self-worth card is showing this person looking at this seat with this spotlight on it, okay? It looks like you're ready to sit in your rightful place. Oh, I just heard at the head of the table. <laughs> Somebody feels like you don't even deserve a seat at the table and they're very upset about it. I want you to look at their faces. Look how mad they are. There could be some workplace conflict going on here with my... Libra Collective, okay? So somebody may look like you've been working your butt off, look like you're about to get some kind of promotion or be recognized or rewarded for something here. And it's your destiny. And nobody can stop destiny, okay? The scales of justice are here, balancing everything out. This is karmic justice. This is good karma. And some other people are not too happy about it. There could be, again, work conflict. with self-worth? Seven of Pentacles. I've been busting my butt. I deserve it. Taurus energy. Some of you, this is seven years. You've been working on a project or at a job. Three of Pentacles. See, there are there's a group of people here. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. First of all, you're a very good. You're a team player, Capricorn energy. You're a team player. You're willing to help any and everybody around you. You're a workaholic. Okay, you got two Pentacle cards. Definitely a workaholic. <laughs> okay, Earth sign energy. So this is like I am willing to help anybody grow that needs my support, needs my help. This is a nurturing energy. This is about gestation. <clears throat> it's a seed well planted. So again, I do feel like you're you're maybe working on a team. Could be up to three people on this team. But I feel like these three people are the same three people on that balance card. They have a problem with you. Okay. This can talk about a click at work that you're not getting along with. Look at this Ten of Pentacles popping out. See, your, your focus is on your family, your children, your needs. Your responsibilities. This is Virgo energy. Again, you could be on a Virgo Libra cusp. Don't have to be. Or you can have Virgo in your chart. But the workaholic is a Virgo. <laughs> that is um, Virgo energy. This Ten of Pentacles is me living, not me as in me, but, you know, saying you. Um, getting to a point where you create a legacy. You build generational wealth here. That's why you're working so hard. People don't even understand why you bust your butt so much. King of Wands, there you go. Take the lead. That's where we started. I'm seeing a promotion here or self-employment for some of you. Some of you are like built from the ground up. You're like, I'm self-made. You're very confident. You are earning something here this week. Your hard work is paying off. Again, some other people are not very happy about this, but we don't really care. You're a visionary. You're ahead of your time. We got the hangman. <laughs> Cancer, and, I mean, um, Pisces energy. With the moon, Cancer Pisces energy. Oh, my God. I feel like some of you could have been, I don't know if you are going up for a promotion and there could be three other people, a total of three of you, um, trying to get this particular job or whatever. I don't know. But this is also intuitive um, energy. Okay, both of these cards represent waiting for your intuition to guide you. There are things you don't know. Now, you may have to watch somebody here. 
I'm seeing a man and two women, black men, two white women. I don't know if that matters, but this feels like colleagues to me. They're very upset with you. They're very upset with you. A lot of them may be speculating that you got this promotion or whatever um, by ill-gotten means because they don't understand that you were favored. Yeah, Tower. There could be an argument or conflict that erupts here. Scorpio Aries energy. That's Mars energy. That's very fiery, passionate energy. So I'm seeing here. Yeah, look at this. Somebody here feels like they missed an opportunity, like you stepped on their toes, like you took something from them. Could be a cancer. Bottom of the deck, eight of pentacles, Virgo energy. Again, hard work, mastery, manifestation. This is nice. Something is a work in progress. I would not be surprised if some of you get called in the office and told I'm promoting you. You got the raise. You got the job, whatever. Because somebody has seen you working very hard. And there are other people here. I'm telling you that are crying over it. They're pissed. Could be a Scorpio around you that you need to watch. This could be somebody that you thought was a friend. Let's get um, some advice for you. That's too many. Advice for Libra. We have Sacred Grove Guidance, number 33. Travel into the power places to receive the guidance you are seeking. Y'all see how it's so bright on that card and how this light is shining on the sea. I'm telling you, you're being guided right into your rightful place, your rightful position. It's your destiny. It's your destiny. And your angels are here supporting you. Well, I got these cards all jacked up. Your angels are right there supporting you. This card right here. It's something that's meant for you. It's not meant for these other people. And they need to understand that. You're being guided right into your rightful place. But the grove is essentially like going within, being quiet, withdrawing. Some of you are very independent. You work well by yourself. You're a leader. And so that these other people don't realize that the reason why this opportunity didn't open up for them is because it's not for them. And they can't be mad about that. Now, obviously, I can't stop them from being mad. But you're a hard worker and something is paying off for you this week. All right, y'all, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will probably see you all. I think I'm going to have to try to do a couple more readings this week because I've been slacking, y'all. I've been being lazy. <laughs> I have been being lazy, but it's just, you know, I was burning myself out, and I listen to my body when it tells me to sit down, take a day off, take three days off, whatever. You know, fortunately, I can do that. So, you know, I've just been listening to my body. It's not that I haven't wanted to bring you your readings. I'm just human, y'all. Like, subscribe.